Thanks for joining me for this routine for neck, shoulder, and upper back pain. We're going to be doing some stretching, mobilizing, and flowing exercises, all designed to bring more blood flow, neural connection, and of course, chi flow into the neck, shoulder, upper back region. This is to help minimize pain, tension, stiffness, and any stagnation of blood or energy. Let's begin standing shoulder width. Lift the hands and then drop one hand behind you, one hand in front. Return to the center, hands up, and then drop to the other side. We'll alternate. Using this as a swinging exercise, try just allowing the arms to drop and swing, turning from your hips and waist, and bouncing a little bit in the knees and legs to create the motion. As you come to the center, you can inhale. As you turn to the side, you can exhale gently out the mouth. This breath is to help with the release of tension from the shoulders. Let's relax back to the center. We'll step one foot back. And the foot that steps back, you're going to swing the arm on that side. You'll be shifting the weight forward and backwards in the legs just by lifting the toe and the heel. Lift toe, heel, toe, heel. Shifting the weight slightly, staying upright in the spine and using that momentum created by the feet and legs to swing the arm. If you have the mobility, the capability without pain, try going in a full circle, adding a little turn of the hips to bring the arm around. Again, not using the tension or effort of the shoulder muscles, but allowing the shoulder to relax and generating the motion from the lower body. Good, let's switch sides. Again, the leg that's back, that arm's going to swing on that side. The feet are going to pump, lifting the toe, heel, toe, heel. Allow the shoulder to relax and feel free to stay there, just swinging through the bottom. Nice one to decompress the shoulder joint. But if it feels appropriate, there's no pain, you can try a full circle. Again, keep the shoulder relaxed the full circle here. You can turn your hips and waist to generate the motion. All right, come back to the center. Let's take our fingers and thumbs together, bring that over the upper chest and start to circle the elbows in the air. Really opening the shoulders, chest, upper back, clavicles here. This one is called the rooster spreads its feathers. Try going the other direction. And you can see I'm allowing my spine and hips to move with it. So the whole upper body's getting a little mobility here. Inviting some blood flow into the shoulders, upper torso. And then try it one arm at a time, lifting the arm towards the sky. Think of the elbow pulling up away from the hip. Also nice to open the waist and rib cage here. And go the other direction. In Qigong we say the hinges of an active door never rust. So here moving all our hinges in all their ranges of motion, typically circular, to access our full natural range of motion in order to clear the rust out of those hinges. Good, keep the fingertips and thumbs together. Push the back of your hands down and away. Curl the fingers in towards the wrist. Lean the head to one side. Slowly nod the head over one shoulder, stretching out through the neck and down the back of the arms. You can inhale as you roll back. Exhale as you roll forward. Now that things are warm and mobilized, we can add some stretching to help clear and release tension. Roll across to the other side and again just nod over the shoulder. Inhaling back, exhaling forward. Again, we don't want any pain here, just a sensation of stretching. You don't want any pinching or tearing or any other painful sensations. Feel free to skip any exercises or do them more gently, a smaller range of motion. 
Let's release and shake it out. Next we'll start to circle the shoulders, turning the back of the hands the direction you're going. So here we're circling the shoulders forward. The back of the hands will turn forward as you come forward. Back of the hands will turn back as the shoulders pull back. So we're trying to rotate the upper arm bone, the humerus, inside the shoulder socket as we're rolling the shoulders. Again, a nice mobilizing exercise, bringing blood, warmth, neuromuscular connection. Let's go backwards now. And again, the back of the hands will lead. So back of the hands face behind as you pull the shoulders back. Back of the hands face forward as the shoulders come forward through the bottom. And it's not really about the hands, it's about rotating the upper arm bone. The hands are just a good proxy for that. And as that arm bone is rolling in the shoulder socket, we're also gliding those shoulder blades around the upper back, pulling on that collarbone and just really opening things up. Now let's press down and away through the palms of the hands, pressing about 45 degrees down out to the sides. Again, lean your ear towards one shoulder. Reach gently through the top of the head as you do this, nodding slowly over the shoulder joint. Again, you can inhale to roll back. Exhale to roll forward. And feel free to breathe in the nose and out the mouth. It's a nice cleansing way to breathe. That helps us to release our stress and tension. Roll across to the other side. Again, in through the nose, out the mouth. Our tension can be partly in the body, but partly in the mind. Often we're holding on to patterns of tension as a result of our mental and emotional habits. And so we can release these together simultaneously, our mental tension, our physical tension. So often it's all bound up together. Let's release that, shake it out again. And take your hands on the hips and just start to turn your head left and right like you're trying to get the chin over the shoulder, mobilizing the neck in a twisting direction. And then move the head in a big slow circle, reaching here through the crown of the head. So we're keeping the neck very long, especially as we go over the back. We're not collapsing and pinching into the spinal discs. Go the other direction. to the center and start to pull your chin back and press it forward. Try to keep your chest and shoulders in one place and just move the neck and head. And then try side to side, shifting the head side to side without moving the shoulders or chest, without tilting the head, keeping the head upright. And then try that in a circle going side, back, side, forward, side, back, side, forward. This is good for gaining, again, neuromuscular control in the neck and head region. Feeling some proprioception of the separation between the neck and shoulders. Try switching directions. They're very good for fixing postural misalignments, which are often due not to muscular imbalances, but to actually neurological imbalances where we can't quite feel where body parts are in space. This next one's called the owl turns its head. We're gonna have our palms face down, fingers point in. We're gonna open up, pointing the fingers behind ourselves, and then point the fingers in. As those fingers point back, turn your chin over one shoulder. As the fingers come back in, chin points forward. Let's inhale as we open. Exhale to the center. Inhale, open, keep pressing down through the palms. Try to keep the palms flat to the floor. Nice one to open the neck, shoulders, clavicle area. And then let's bring the palms together behind the back with the fingers pointing down. Keep those hands a little lower if you're tighter. 
You can bring them up higher if you're a little looser. Then begin to circle the head. This time adding more stretch to this head circle. With the palms in that position, should feel more stretch in the neck, shoulders, upper back, even down the forearms to the palms. Again, feel free to breathe with it. Let's change directions. You might exhale as you come down, inhale as you roll up and back. And keep reaching through the crown of your head. So we're looking for a stretch around the neck, not a pinch inside the neck. And lean the head to one side and just start to circle the chin in the air, just winding into that stretch in the side of the neck. Keep the head to this side, but turn the chin the other direction. And lean to the other side. Find a good stretch and then use the chin to circle into it. In the other direction. In Qigong, we're usually moving through our stretches. This again helps with the neuromuscular connection. So the muscle doesn't just get longer, but it actually gets more relaxed. And then drop your chin to the chest. Keep those palms together behind your back. Really round your upper back and neck here as you take a few deep breaths between the shoulder blades. You might find a nice stretch in the upper back here. And release, shake it out. And give those shoulders another roll. Next one, we're going to find a spinal wave. Drop your hips back, chest forward. Press the hips forward, chest back. Hips back hips forward, and then lift your chin and drop your chin. Press the hips forward. At the top, lift your chin. Hips go back. At the bottom, drop the chin. And this should start to create a wave-like motion through the body. I think a wave is coming up the legs, hips, spine, neck, head. Inhale up, exhale down. Nice one to mobilize the whole spine, hips, and neck. And then we'll add a nice mobilizing motion for the arms and shoulders. You're going to whip the back of the hands forward and then spiral the palms face up as you pull in. Back of the hands whip towards each other, palms spiral face up to pull back. So as the hips go back, the arms float forward. And as the hips press forward, the arms pull back. This one is called the White Crane. Good. Come in. Settle down. Let's draw up. Take a deep breath as you pull up to the chest. And exhale as you settle down. Again, deep breath in through the nose as you draw up to the chest. And exhale through the nose as you press down. You're going to start to breathe entirely in the nose and also out the nose now. This next one is called the baby bird learns to fly. We're going to float the hands forward and down, palms face down. Then turn the back of the hands towards each other as you draw up the center line. Exhale as you float forward. Inhale as you draw up. Let your spine, hips, and neck relax, moving in that same wave-like pattern as before, but now much more subtle and relaxed. Here, now that we've mobilized and stretched through the upper body, as those muscles have become more relaxed, we want to learn to move with relaxation. This next one, float your hands up to the sides and then settle down to the sides like a large bird flying. Inhaling up, exhaling down. And again, the whole body's moving. We're pushing the hips forward to come up, sinking the hips back to come down, learning to move with whole body relaxation rather than tension in individual body parts. Again, drop to the chest and exhale, press down. Inhale to the chest. Exhale, press down, long, smooth breaths, relaxing the nervous system. 
Bring that relaxation even deeper than the muscles, deep into the nerves, into the mind, perhaps even into the spirit. And inhale, float the hands up overhead, and exhale, drawing down the heavens. Fold the hands over the lower abdomen. Step your feet in close together for our final relaxation exercise called bamboo in the wind. Here the feet are close to put us a little bit off balance so that as we relax the body, the body starts to rock and sway. It just as bamboo allows itself to be flexible, yielding to the breeze, we yield to that rocking and swaying within as we relax. Furthering that somatic relaxation of mind and body. Just breathing naturally here. We'll step it out and close by circling the belly. Taking our attention and energy into our gut mind. Our lower dantian. Circling tighter and tighter circles till it lands below the navel. Take a deep breath in and close with a big sigh, releasing. Hope you're feeling refreshed, relaxed, and pain-free. If you feel even a little bit of benefit the first time doing this, you'll likely experience a lot more by practicing regularly. So try doing this every day for a couple weeks to see how it impacts your pain levels. If you enjoyed this program, you might enjoy the others on my YouTube channel, so feel free to subscribe and browse around, or head to my website, nickloffrey.com, to grab my free Qigong Foundations course for beginners and start practicing more regularly and thoroughly today. Thanks so much for joining. My name is Nick Loffrey, and I hope to see you soon.